cataractcoach.com. Is the posterior capsule ruptured? You notice this sign during phaco. Now what should you do? Look carefully. Hmm, that shape is about the same size as the phaco tip. Starting off the case, femtosecond laser being used. So fancy case here. So you can see not a very dense nucleus. Relatively soft, getting this thing removed pretty easily. Here we go, nice and go, move, going at high speed. There's the epinuclear shell coming out. It all looks pretty good. Aspirate, aspirate, aspirate. And whoa, what's that? Let's slow it down here, buddy. Oh my goodness, what we got going on? Let's look carefully. Did you see that? Right behind that big epinuclear shell, you see what looks like the outline of your phaco tip. This is the part where your heart's beating real fast. You're thinking, oh my goodness, is everything okay? What's going on here? What do I do? What do I do? Well, don't come out of the eye. I like that answer. Stay in the eye. You're still going to have to remove this big piece of epinucleus, so you may want to try to get that. But think about it. What do you do here? You saw it there. It was just a glimpse. All right, let's try again. Be nice and gentle. Barely vacuum. Let's get this piece up. If you want to come out of the eye, what should you do? Don't let the eye collapse. Put some viscoelastic in there. We know that. Okay, still just thinking, hmm. Now this happens to all of us. It's really important to be able to know how to deal with this. How do you deal with this? So what we're gonna do here is, yep, inject the viscoelastic. I like the injection of viscoelastic being underneath that piece. That's smart. Now you can bring that thing up and aspirate it. Very nicely done. So bring a piece up and you can keep injecting more viscoelastic. Now try to just give vacuum when you see the piece of that material, the lens material, on the phaco tip. And look at that extra injection of viscoelastic. That's smart. Now you can see that hole. What is that round spot? Hmm, what do you do here? I like the idea of keep injecting more viscoelastic. That's smart. Now you can still salvage this case. You can have a beautiful outcome. But is it broken or not? What do you think? So I like the injection of viscoelastic there with one hand while aspirating with the other. Viscoelastic's cheaper than vitreous, right? We say it all the time. Being careful here. Don't overinflate things with viscoelastic. Nice and easy. Get that last piece out. Now, probably the best thing is to move to some cortex aspiration with the IA probe. So now more viscoelastic going in. I like that idea. Inject, inject, inject. This is where you tell your staff, please open another tube of viscoelastic. And yes, I need it. Just, just open it. Better to have extra viscoelastic available. Now what? There's that round hole. What do you do now? More viscoelastic. Oof, that looks so round like. What do you think that is? Think about it. it looks like it's a hole in the capsule, but is it? What if it's just a hole in the cortex? And what if by some miracle the capsule is intact? You know how you check? Visco dissection. Go there and visco dissect the cortex off the bag. So there you go, visco dissection. Yes! And look, so far, ooh, that still looks like a hole. But we can dissect a little more, and then you'll be surprised. Look, look, look. More visco after going in, visco dissect, and, and, no more hole! Hey! What a stroke of luck. The phaco tip went through the epinuclear shell, went through the cortex, and stopped just a micron or two shy of that posterior capsule. Woo, talk about stress. You know how to deal with stress in cataract surgery? There's a whole section on that on cataractcoach.com. You got to check out the website. I have all kinds of great material, how to stay calm under pressure. Search the keyword anxious or nervous on cataractcoach.com and you'll see some great pearls for learning. Now I think we're okay. Now you look into the eye and say, all right, this is cortex. Everything else should be fine. But still proceed with caution here. More viscoelastic going in. At this point, I'm pretty sure there's no hole. So at this point, I think you just go into the cortex removal. Either a coaxial or bimanual IA setup would be great. Again, don't overly keep inflating viscoelastic because what if there is some weakness in the bag that you created and are you going to pop right through it or expand it even more? So you can cause damage, as you've seen with other videos here in Catacode. You can cause damage with viscoelastic too, so be cautious. Here you go, end of the case. I like the idea, put the lens in first. Oh, look, like a trifocal or multifocal lens. Now cleaning up all of the remaining lens cortex. And there you go, trifocal lens. So this is a tough case because this lens, if you had a big wide open posterior capsule, you couldn't get the trifocal lens in unless you created a posterior capsule axis. 
And so here, able to clean up the cortex pretty nicely. We obviously speed in the video up here to get through it. And this patient can have a real nice outcome here. But just be cautious. Remember, even though the capsule is intact, you never know. Oh, bimanual approach. The capsule is much easier with a bimanual approach. I agree, agree, agree. The bimanual approach, especially like this, where there's cortex behind an optic, it's just much easier to reach back there, clean it up. Don't, don't, don't go too crazy on the capsule polishing. It's okay. Just get it pretty good. Just time to get out of the eye. Very nicely done. Thank you for sending this video in. Yes, we all got fooled. And that's because this is the nature of what we do. But I love the way you reacted and took your time, used extra viscoelastic, and the patient had a beautiful outcome. Very, very nicely done. Remember, cataractcoach.com, we have a new podcast every week. Amazing podcast where my goal is to give you insight into success in ophthalmology for your future.